Hey, what's going on guys? So as you probably know, Infusionsoft released a new landing page builder and it's pretty dang good. So if you haven't played with it yet, I totally recommend checking it out. Um, if you have played with it, you may have come across a few of the uh, shortcomings or a few features that are still being added, right? Uh, there's a handful of those and uh, they're doing a great job of reacting to our feedback and quickly pushing out updates and, and just continually improving this. So uh, if there's something you're waiting on, uh, you hopefully won't have to wait very long. Now, for example, one complaint or one uh, criticism the first couple days or weeks uh, that it's been out has been that uh, it needs to be easier to host these pages on our own domain. And uh, that is 100% true, and that's a, that's a fair critique of, of, um, of this new tool. Now, uh, the good news is if you use WordPress, uh, it is about to get a lot easier for you with large thanks to David Bullock um, of Memberium fame. So if you don't know Dave, he is a, um, a great contributor in the Infusionsoft ecosystem and community, and he's best known for his product, Memberium, which is a membership plugin for WordPress. So uh, Infusionsoft and uh, Dave have collaborated to create, actually, I don't know if collaborated is the right word. Uh, he might have just created it himself. Uh, I saw some conversation between the product managers at Infusionsoft and Dave, so my impression was that they were working on this together. Um, I don't know if they contracted him or if he just, out of the goodness of his heart, wanted to put something together. But regardless, uh, he has created a WordPress plugin that allows you to do just that, host the Infusionsoft landing pages on your own website or on your own domain. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how this plugin works. Um, I wanna be clear that this is the first version of this plugin, so there may be few Future iterations of it. Uh, I'm going to give you the link below this video where you can download this plugin. But again, uh, they may update this, and this may not be the best place to get the most recent or most current uh, version. Uh, but it should at least get us started here. So I'm in the back end of my WordPress site here. I'm going to go to Add New under Plugins, and uh, it's a zip file, so we can upload this. You know, it's not something that we can search for just yet, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and upload plugin. And um, we will browse, and it should be in my downloads folder, Infusionsoft landing pages zip. Click open uh, and install now. And again, this is not something that I've done before, so I'm hoping that if I go through this for my own business, uh, you know, maybe it'll make the process a little bit easier if I uncover anything that isn't exactly as expected. Okay. Installing plugin from uploaded file, uh, unpacking the package, installing the plugin, uh, plugin installed, activate plugin. Okay, that looks like the next logical step for us here. Um, and it looks like the page is reloading. Infusionsoft landing pages for WordPress. Okay, so if I uh, push out this menu, right, um, somewhere over here, you could see a bunch of my different plugins. Um, and if we go to settings here, uh, on the settings drop down is the Infusionsoft landing pages option. So that was not there previously. So I'm assuming that's where I'll go to manage uh, my new pages. Infusionsoft landing pages, save changes, landing page URL, slug, um, embed, iframe, redirect. Okay, so this is what we need. So it looks like this is where it wants me to paste the Infusionsoft landing page URL. So let's go grab that. Um, so here is my uh, the, my demo landing page. You may have seen this floating around. I built kind of a, a tour of the new landing page. This was probably my most meta lead page uh, or landing page or lead capture because it was a landing page about the landing page builder built using the landing page builder. So um, let's go to the launch step. And here is that URL. So, um, oh, it's already copied. Look at that. Uh, so let's go ahead and paste that in here. And uh, we'll just make my slug. Uh, so, for example, forward slash your URL. Uh, so, I think let's do forward slash new LP hyphen builder. Okay, new LP builder embed. I don't. I'm not 100% clear. I'm guessing embed means that the page will be hosted. Iframe means it'll be framed in there. Uh, and redirect just probably means that the URL will point to this URL instead. So let's try embed. Uh, you could choose whether or not you want it to be active, and then we'll click Add Landing Page. So cool, now it lists my current pages up here, um, and we can go ahead and click Save Changes. 
Uh, looks like we've got options for deleting it. It can show you the number of page views. You can change those settings up here as well. Uh, I didn't see anything happen when I clicked Save Changes, but the page did reload. So let's go ahead and view. And um, www.monkeypodmarketing.com forward slash new LP builder. Just like that. Very straightforward. Let's test this in a, uh, a new window just to double check. Um, Oh, that's going to go to my blog post because <laughs> it added the, the word updates to the end. So let's try just new LP builder. And that should take us to that same page. Uh, it does. I've noticed it, it loading a little bit funny in terms of how it loads the CSS package or the, the font package. Um, and that did not load for some reason. So it's, there it is. So yeah, so if it, if it loads a little awkward in terms of the way things are, uh, just give it a second and uh, you know give that feedback to Infusionsoft. But guys, really, uh, this new plugin, it seems to be a, a pretty much a no-brainer here. So um, as I mentioned, there are a few shortcomings to the landing page builder. Uh, I'd love to be able to add a favicon here. Uh, you know, rather than the WordPress icon. Um, I know that there's some formatting that's a little bit wonky with the, uh, uh, when it's on mobile. Um, and there's, you know, certainly the, the ability to add a popover uh, form would be great. So there's still some things that, that could be added to make this builder better. Uh, but this is a huge win. And, you know, I got to give a ton of credit to, to David Bullock and, and his work on this um, because this was this was something that you know initially when infusionsoft gave us the ability to embed this it involved going to your um you know your domain back end and uploading a php file and and you can only have one page per domain so there just were some pretty significant drawbacks that were going to prevent people from using this but uh, this plugin uh, eradicates that and it's just one you know one less thing uh, on the list of reasons not to use this. So it's getting better and better. And if you use a, a third-party landing page builder, uh, I'm not saying you need to drop that right now and start using this today. Uh, but if you've been if you've been holding off or you don't have a landing page builder, uh, this is just it's it's getting better, guys, and it's only going to get better from here. So. Uh, you know, kudos, lots of props to the guys who, who worked on this. Uh, lots of shout outs to the guys on the product team at Infusionsoft for reacting so quickly and, and iterating and, and whatnot. But uh, I love where this is headed and I hope this video was helpful for you. Take care.